Well, I'm really excited about this video because it's already over. I know what happened. But me and my buddy Jay came up into, up in the North Carolina, pretty good little drive, way out some back roads, as I probably showed some of the stuff coming in. And the goal is to catch some uh, wild uh, brook trout. And I had a blast. So it was a fun little trip. We only fished two and a half hours, maybe. We've done some really rough stuff. This one was a little bit more laid back and easy, but really fun time. <laughs> First cast, I had a hit. Way better than the last uh, last time. <laughs> We ain't been here long, Jay got one. It's already better than our last trip. Oh, got it. Oh! Sky lost, did it come off? Nah, he, he, I actually felt that one. He didn't come out of the water, but he hit it. And I saw it for a second. Oh, hit again. Come on, I gotta get one of these. What's going on? Oh, ah! Had him, come on. Why can't I land one? Yes! There we go! We got one on. Come on, come on, we gotta get it in. Get it in. Into the net. Yeah! Got it. Success. First, first ever Southern Appalachian Brook Trout. That's it. Oh man, that's cool. We gotta get a video of this. Let's take it over here and uh, get a real cool shot of this. That's not a bad size. Eight incher. That's not a bad size. Too. All right, this guy is right at eight inches long. Really pretty fish like that. That was a fun. I missed about four of them by the time I got one. There you go. Is he still there? Oh yeah, he's still there. Oh dude, that might be awesome right there. He's just still sitting there. Make the trip. Woo! All right, Jay, thanks for putting me on it. Yes, sir. So it's my, what do you call it? Southern? Southern Appalachian Brook Trout. Southern Appalachian Brook Trout, here in the mountains of North Carolina. I had plenty of chances. I've caught some stocked ones, but I've never caught the, the, a wild one. So that's my first one ever. That was really fun. I thought I, would, I thought I would have got a bite out of here pretty quick. But. Did I mention that I'm catching my fish on my own handcraft? Ah, well, I'm going to start tying fly. Uh, I mean, you're pretty cool, but... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's a rainbow. No way. 
Is it? Oh wow, he just looked like it. It looked like all those colors. There we go. You're catching the big ones. I'm tied. Tied up, caught the J. Corner of the mouth. I'm throwing this little dry fly thing and getting a lot of hits on it. Um, let's just get a video of this one. Perfect. All right, look at that guy. Man, look at all the specs. I'm not sure how detail is showing up. It's really neat. <laughs> Think about trout when they're. I tried an underwater footage. Oh, he, he, he went off that time. I, I try for bass and they zip off. Trout will like just sit there and let you film them. That's two for me. I missed the one and then I kept throwing back in there and got another one. Yeah, we went a month ago and we, we went all through all this horrible terrain. Didn't get a bite, like not a chub or nothing. So I've already got like six hits, landed two of them. Whole, better, whole lot better feeling. And uh, these are stuff I've never caught before, so it's really cool. Yep. Oh. Hey. Wow. Call. Goodness. It looks like a darter so small. This is what we came for right here. I mean. It's all about those big fish. It's, like, it's all about size matters. I can't, even, I can't even zoom in on it. It's a, that is really cool looking. <laughs> that was cool. He came out of the water. Jay, let me tell you how it's done. <laughs> let me teach you the ways. Well, this trout fishing thing's turned out pretty good. Got number three for me. And I'm getting better at casting. And look at the colors on this one. Oh my. Hold on here, buddy. Oh wow, that is awesome. Oh, I had a perfect picture and you moved. I, yeah, you know, I watched people leave it in the sink for an hour. Man. Oh! Wasn't ready for that one. Well, then I did it. I knew I was sitting there. Casting there. Where are we at? Where are we at? Woo! Get him in! <laughs> Little guy. What did he spit up in my, uh... how in the world did I get this in my net? All right, let's take a look at this. I don't know if it's from this fish or from, I don't think it's from the last one. Look at this fish. I got it out. There's a salamander. Look at that. Yeah, definitely something fish threw it up. Dude, look what this fish is eating. eating little. Not little. Look at size, look at size of that thing. Man. It had to come from this fish. I would have seen it before. He've been eating good. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely in a, you can see it's like halfway decomposed. Yeah, digested. That's a big old uh salamander or newt or whatever it is that's pretty interesting all right we're this is probably the last hole we're gonna hit um we didn't we didn't plan to fish real long today we had to drive like two hours to get here but it's been well worth the drive so maybe maybe one more or two coming
No way. No way. Oh. oh, I got it on camera. Oh, get him, Shay. <laughs> Two of them back to back. As soon as I move, he catches one. You want to get some underwater on the hook? Yeah. I'm going to put my dry, my, my, oh. <laughs> I'm standing here holding his net. You got the net in your hand. Hey, hey, there we go. I wasn't even really trying to catch one. No, I get to go hit that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was standing here getting ready to go up to the next hole and uh, just making some casts with one hand. We get another one. Oh, he's off. And we've both been eyeballing that next hole. Yeah, hey, I, want, I want to video you, but let me get a. We oh, take, he went through the hole. Turns, so All right, he went, he went through the hole. I got to go. All right, hold on. Let me uh, get in position. Oh, there he goes right there. Cool. That was my, is that my fifth one? I think, I was, I, think least, I, I think it was my fifth that. one, and um, but I'm gonna try to video Jay. We had one, we had, well, there might be another one right here. Let me cast it here again. Cause Jay had a couple bites there. And I saw- I, I don't even think I've hit that little run over there yet. And, we, and then we stopped for about, it was like five minutes and then I threw back in there and got one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I gotta get my, my fly. Uh, In the dry again. Boom! That's solid fish right there. That's a good fish. That is a nice one. Come on, oh, come on, buddy. Yes, dude, that's my biggest one today. That's the biggest one. Of the trip. I think it's fat. That's funny. We're, we're both eyeballing this hole up there, and we're <laughs> and we're standing here like talking about that, making random casts. I catch two. While we're talking about that next hole. That's that's four that's four fish out of this hole right here, right? You catch two up here? I caught one. Okay, maybe I, I lost one. I caught one, lost one. You caught two. I know you lost you had two hits, and this I think this was the one because I saw him come out of the water. Yeah, I caught two, a little one in this one. In the same spot, like casting the same run. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're doing that. Okay. Hook is out. Photo. Dude. <laughs> this guy's a beast. Gorgeous right there. Uh, hold on, hold on. We'll probably stand here and catch more. Uh, <laughs> we definitely should be able to catch. If we if we got three out of here, there better be about ten up there. So I hardly have any fly stuff. Everything I have was sent to me. Appreciate it by a guy named James. And this is a really nice rod, Moonlit. And I was using a 6.8, which may have been a little short, but it's a three weight. And uh, just a little dry fly that also was sent to me. Uh, Jay, what was your setup? I was using the Moonshine Vesper, three weight, eight foot six. Caught every fish I caught today was on this little purple haze, which is basically just a parachute atoms tied in purple instead of gray. Worked fairly well.
it's really fun watching these fish uh, hit off top. This is my first time ever doing, I've gone trout fishing with him a few times. This is the first time I've ever caught them off top, like hitting like that. Yeah. Usually we have to do a nymph and uh, it's really fun. I missed a bunch, but I caught a bunch and those are so pretty. The, the video footage from the releases and the fish turned out really cool, I think. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, maybe I'll do a little more fly fishing, maybe uh, for some other species coming up.